we have already seen how to add the subtitles to our video. Today we are going to learn how to stylize those subtitles. To begin with, first I will go to a terminal and we will generate a subtitle style and the command is pretty simple. Let me check the videos that I have. So I have two videos jellyfish.mp4 and rocket.mp4. Along with that, I have also created a sample subtitle for the rocket video. Let me show you that. So I'll open this subtitle file inside a notepad plus plus and then there is some dummy text that I have entered. Let's go back to the terminal and fire a command called as ffmpg hyphen i name of the subtitle file so rocket.srt and then the style should file that we want to generate so we'll call it as rocket.ass press enter and it should generate a file inside the folder so you can see that there is a new file that has been generated let's open this file inside notepad plus plus it is a text file or there is no special editor that is required so you will see that there is a lot of information and attributes are available inside this so our subtitles that we we have seen earlier uh, it is present over here you can see that the text is there there's a timestamp but along with that it is also referring to the style definitions which should be used for each of the subtitle rendering and those definitions are available inside the upper block so there is a section called as v4 plus styles and then each of the style so you can have multiple styles or uh, let me just tell you that now in this case there is a default style that is getting created so we have a default style with the font name as arial font size is 16 and then there are quite a few color combinations followed by whether we need a bold italic underline what are all other styles that you want to apply for the subtitle all of those things are available over here you can also see there is a scale x scale y basically to stretch uh, the subtitles so all this information is available so you can use this information you can edit this information and while generating a new video you can apply this particular style sheet to your video now editing this file um, in a plain text editor is pretty much possible but it is quite difficult also you might end up making a mistake so if you look at these color references these are actually hexadecimal color references but they are actually in a reverse order so there are a lot of confusions that will start coming up what you can do is that you can use an editor called as eg sub so this is a nice style sheet editor it helps you to change the style sheet definitions for your subtitles so let me quickly open that subtitle file that we have generated so i'll go to file open subtitle and you can see that our file is also available so i'll open it you can see all those options that we have seen earlier in the notepad plus plus are visible over here primarily the subtitle text that we have and the timestamp so this is the uh, preview of the each subtitle you can actually edit this definition over here or you can click on this edit button wherein you can actually change the color settings so let me click on the outline and i will switch to somewhat bluish color or maybe a green color you can see that the green color is available over here the one which we have selected i will press ok now you can also see the preview now the preview is indicating that the green color is actually getting highlighted outside the text it is not spanning the entire screen width so i'll make it as opaque box so that uh, the green color the background color is quite visible I'll click on apply. I will change uh, or I will also change the font name. So the font that I have on my system, maybe I will select Trebuchet MS. So the font has been changed a little bit. Click on OK. So our default style has been changed. I will quickly save that particular file. So I will click on the save button. Now, if I go back to the notepad plus plus, you will see that the color combinations are different over here right and this color is actually an rgb or the hexadecimal color but in the reverse order so if you simply take this 6698b it won't work properly you need to take up this 2b as first so the actual color is something like if i just copy paste this is what we are seeing right now but the actual color code is like 2b 9a66 okay this is our actual green color let me just quickly revert that particular change 
so this is the style that we have modified we can see that the font name has also appeared over here trebuchet ms now we need to supply this particular style sheet to the fmpeg cli so that it can apply these styles while generating the subtitles let's see that quickly let's go ahead and apply this style sheet to our subtitles so i am already inside a terminal wherein you can see the current folder is e-sandbox videos let me quickly show you that okay this is the same place wherein we are and this time if i will type fmmpg i i need to supply the name of the mp4 file followed by a video filter so there is a lib ass extension which is available inside fmmpeg which helps us to use this style sheet now we need to provide the name of the ass file this contains our timestamps the subtitles for each of those timestamp and then the default styles for each one of them the next thing that we require is uh, the output file that has to get generated so rocket underscore i will say new dot mp4 that's it now if i press enter you will see that the processing has started um, it will take up some time we're not going to process the entire video we'll just process few first seconds and then we'll abort the process so close to 15 seconds video has been processed let me just quickly stop that let's go back to the windows explorer and see how our new video looks like so we have this rocket underscore new dot mp4 file present i will open it inside vlc media player and this time you can see that the subtitles are generated with a default or rather with a new styles that we have applied so congratulations you learned new thing about fmmpeg i will see you soon in the next video till then take care and build something